Recently, I had the opportunity to try to help someone over the phone. She lived a couple of hours from me, so I didn't know when we could actually sit down side by side. So I thought, well, I'd do my best to uh, get through the problem. Um, the short story as it was, she had embroidered a couple of baby blankets and had already gifted them. Well, one of them, she had gotten the uh, the name wrong. There was a miscommunication uh, between her and the, the grandmother that the you know, blanket was going to, but uh, she needed to change McGuire to Boone. Um, and what she said several times over the phone is, it's grayed out. I can't change it. She knew she had created it in the uh, Bernina version 9 and felt like she should be able to go right in and change the lettering, change that one word to Boone. And I agreed with her, yes, that should happen. Um, but what I had her do was go ahead and send me the file so that I could look at it. Well, um, on her screen it was showing her that it was the version 9. But when she sent it to me, it was actually, I believe, in the EXP format. So, of course, when I open it up, what I see is Art Grade C. Um, and I don't know exactly what happened. She never could find the very original um, True Grade A. Um, I don't know if it accidentally got converted to the EXP, you know, saved over, which is very possible, or if she had... Um, and since she had already embroidered this, she had it on a uh, thumb drive, and I don't know if she just transferred it back to her, um, and that could have been where she accidentally overwrote it. If she transferred that design back to her computer um, and then wrote over the original, I'm just really not sure what happened. And that's something that I'll get bogged down and spend way too much time trying to figure it out, but I thought, you got to get this gift um, back to the grandmother uh, before the kids start school. So, you know, uh, I thought, well, okay, we've got to just move on. Uh, and with her saying grayed out, what she meant, if I click on our object properties and then go to the lettering, I could see now what she meant by it is grayed out, meaning she could not get in and change now this this is here because I had already created Boone and I'll show you in a minute how I how I finished it up. Um, it's holding the last thing that I digitized. So don't be don't let that concern you. What she was actually seeing was completely blank and nothing here. Now she did remember that she used cursive so that was a great help to me that I could then create the correction. Um, so let's close this out. So that's what she meant by it. It's grayed out. Um, and if you start selecting some of these, see that's not even a whole M. It's just part of the M. But I had her do that um, so that we could see the now the width designation here is actually the height. So we knew which font we were going to be using but we needed to know the size and so that's why you know we went ahead and selected that uh, just to try to uh, check the size and I made a note of that um, but it was an odd thing when I actually used that to import, import the new word boom the numbers didn't jive at all so um, what uh, the way to get rid of this is to draw a bounding box. Let's see if I can do it with this one. Yes, yeah, sure enough. So we'll draw a bounding box around what we want to remove and hit delete on the keyboard. Now I will go to my lettering and create the word boom.
I'm going to go ahead and use um, I'm going to change the color. I want a different color block so that she could insert this easily. Um, the object properties we want to change this if she told me cursive and the width I'm going to try the 50.4 and let's just see what happens we'll then apply it ah, don't like that control Z or touching the undo button takes me out of that so I'm going to leave that as for now. Go ahead and change it to cursive. And then I'll rotate and I'm going to be lining this up. I think I'll set it here just let's see that's not bad as far as the, the height. Oh, it's a little bit large. <coughs> See, it, in my mind it should have been 50.4, but that's not working out for me. Let's see what happens if we just reduce it small amount. I'm kind of liking that. Okay. Now, she had said she wished she had spaced these better. Not a lot we can do with, it, with that. Um, I was so proud of her that she was able to get the McGuire picked out of the blanket. She said it came out fairly clean. Let's see, we'll get rid of this one. Um, so, you know, I felt like she was steps ahead with that. I'm going to draw myself a guide just by touching up here in the, um, in the ruler bar. And then I can see how much I need to move. I'm going to be selecting here to kind of blow this up. Um, so I'll select Boone. I want to go ahead and space this a little bit. Uh, we're trying to fill in what was there to begin with anyway. And I'm seeing that, see, I'm going to drop it down some, but I can move it. I mean, not much. So I had done, I had clicked reshape, which is here. You can see that it's highlighted with blue. Um, I'll also touch H on my keyboard, and that, that brings that up for me. Let's separate the O's just a little bit. I'm going to use my arrow key now to easily move this. Let's move them all a little bit more. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm going to select the entire word. And you see we've, we've got just a guideline here to help us line that one up. I'll nudge it down using my um, arrow key. So that lines up with the other word. That's a little bit too low. Okay, somewhere in there. Now, she realizes that this is a shorter name than what was there. And so she was going to go into her computer and uh, actually go into the V9 software and see if she couldn't find a little motifs of, of some kind. A star. She was saying a starfish or, um, or something. Let's go to zero there. Something that she could add to fill in the space because you can see that the two lines pretty much line up, but it would be difficult to make um, Boone the same same length as this. It would it would look odd next to the other letters. So what she's going to be able to do now is, um, and of course I saved it as a version nine, but it's going to remain a grade C because of this bit because of all of that uh, EXP that was already there. Um, now the boon that I've added, I could go in, let's, let's say I accidentally spelled boon wrong. Perhaps it, it shouldn't actually have an E. We all know that it does, but 
if I had needed to change this, I will be able to go in and change that word that I created using version 9. But the entire embroidery is now be, uh, will be a grade C. Um, so these things, all of these, this lettering cannot easily be changed. You would follow the same steps that you did here. But, you know, there, everything else is fine. It was just the name. She'll go in, she'll find a, a fun little motif, a truck or a car or something to add after his name. And then it won't look too odd. Um, so then I saved it as a, I went ahead and saved it as a version 9. But it's going to come into her computer as a grade C. Um, and then she'll be able to t take it to a thumb drive, put this back into her machine, um, use her pinpoint um, location to uh, actually get this all lined up, but yet skip ahead and just embroidery, boom. And then, of course, her, her little symbol that she'll add. And then this will be ready to go back to the baby. Thanks for watching.